All right, what is going on guys? Coach Joe, Garage De La Swole. And today, we're gonna be talking about girth. And I know a lot of you guys are probably focusing on the wrong areas for girth, but we're gonna correct where the girth should be focused. And it's not gonna be anywhere on the southern region of the anatomical body. It's going to be the northern region, AKA the neck python. So, if you guys are looking to enhance the girth on the neck python, I'm gonna give you a breakdown because I've been obsessed with getting this collar python even bigger. Right now I'm sitting about almost 20 inches of pure circumference here. So the point of this video guys is really to show you how to train your neck the way I've been training my neck the last several months consistently. And if you guys do this, I guarantee you, you're gonna have a stronger, uh, just a bigger, thicker neck. And a lot of people say it's more aesthetically pleasing. Now I'll be honest, I've never dated a female who literally said to me, man, I really picked you because the size of your neck. However, she was probably thinking about it, but just didn't wanna say it because it's maybe a little bit embarrassing. But I do guarantee you this, if you do have a bigger neck or by no neck, meaning your traps and neck are so big that they're just combined as one, people are gonna look at you a little bit differently. Especially when you're in the gym or you're playing sports, if you see another dude with just huge traps, big thick neck, once again, it's almost like the big forearms and strong grip. They're a scary human being and maybe they're not actually scary and they're, they're like a teddy bear, a nice guy ever, but you will perceive them a little bit scarier, okay? They're gonna get a little bit more respect from you. You're gonna have to turn your head a little bit and be like, oh, dang, dang, that guy, he's serious. He's serious. You know what I'm talking about. Before we get into the actual neck training and a routine you can do, I wanna talk about the benefits of neck training. All right, so first and foremost, the benefits of neck training, right off the bat, the first one that comes to mind is just protecting your head and your brain. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but your brain's pretty freaking vital to survival and just functioning as a human being. So me, being an athlete growing up, maybe you guys watching this, you know, play football, do BJJ, combat sports, whatever, one of the biggest concerns we have is gonna be concussions. And when we can strengthen our neck, we are really making sure that we're protecting our brain so it's not getting rattled between the skull and the dome piece. So if you guys are athletes and you are in some sort of contact sport, it's very important that you get in some sort of neck training. Now it doesn't have to be to the extent of what we're gonna be talking about here, but you know, you just want to make sure that it's in your training regimen at some point, especially if you're gonna be playing at a high level uh, where the probability of you getting rocked around is going to be increased. Second benefit of neck training is gonna be general postural integrity, okay? We have a lot of people who are working at jobs, being desk jockeys all day, and we're in that rounded position. So doing some neck training or even some upper back trap work is really gonna help just kind of correct that posture, because I guarantee you, you don't wanna be walking around looking like a sloth all day. That's just not the look. I've never never thought, man, do I really just wanna look like a sloth walking around? Not, not the vibe I was going for. A dandelion. So it doesn't have to be a ton of extra work, but it's just enough to kind of pull you back, get those shoulder blades back, get that chest up, keep your, your body nice and erect, and I think that's gonna have a big benefit down the road if you just throw in some of these exercises during your training week. And the third benefit is you honestly just look and feel more like a badass when you have some big traps and a thicker neck. Although it does suck when you're trying to go and get fitted for a fancy event because your shirt sizes are gonna be all over the place and you're gonna probably have to get a custom suit at some point, but for the majority of you, you're probably gonna be okay. And now I'm a man, so I can only speak for men, but having a thicker neck and bigger traps just builds confidence. And I think we all can agree that an increase in confidence isn't really necessarily a negative thing. So if you are trying to increase your confidence along with all the other benefits that I just covered, throw in some neck training, okay? You're gonna want some muscle around the esophagus. Also another neck training video I did a few years ago with a guy with a massive neck. So if you're interested, click that link, watch that video, come back here, finish this one up, because now we're about to get into the actual workout that I typically do throughout the week to increase neck girth. All right, before we get into the actual warm up and workout, I wanna give you a disclaimer. If you guys have not been consistently neck training over a period of time, and this is new to you, take it easy. Please heed my warning. I know some of you guys are gonna go balls to the walls, and I can't stop all of you, but I'm telling you, if these muscles haven't been worked, you are gonna be very sore. 
In addition to that, if you're somebody who has a neck injury and any of this stuff causes you a lot of pain, this may not be a good starting point for you, okay? You may have need to see somebody else, get that figured out before you can begin this. And on top of that, I always suggest warming up your neck properly with either some stretches or just some basic ranges of motion before we even add any sort of external resistance. So let's get right into kind of the warm up and workout for neck girth. The first thing that I'm gonna do before I even start using a band or any sort of weight, I'm just gonna get the neck juices flowing, okay? So I like doing uh, yeses, which is just gonna be like this, some flexion and extension. Typically, I'll do two to three sets, anywhere from 10 to 20 reps. Very simple. Okay, from there, I'm gonna do nose, side to side, same thing, two to three sets, about 10 to 20 reps. I really like to get a good stretch as I look over my shoulder as much as I can. Make sure I'm warming up, priming the neck. From there, we're gonna do neck circles. Probably did these in gym class with your freaking crazy ass gym teacher. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? But we're just gonna go clockwise and counterclockwise. Basically anywhere from 10 to 20 reps, two to three sets. Very simple. I'm pretty dizzy right now and I only did a few. Lastly, I just like doing some shoulder shrugs, okay? So I'll just stand there, just shrugging up, just like this. I call these, I don't know, <laughs> very simple to do. Just kind of want to get some trap engagement. Once again, you know, 10 to 20 reps, two, three sets, simple. From there, we're gonna grab a band and I'll show you what I do with the band. All right, now that we have our band, okay, I'm gonna do what I call bird pecs. So basically, just put the band behind your head. We're gonna give a little bit of tension. Okay, we're just gonna tuck that chin back for a double chin, let it come forward to neutral. Back, forward, back, forward, just like so. And obviously you can play with tension as you want, okay? We'll do about 15, 20 of those, one to two sets, making sure that the neck feels good. And if you wanna increase your sets over time and you feel like it's giving you some strength, go for it. This is pretty minimal, so you may not get a ton of size from these exercises, but I find it's a great warm up, especially if you are in contact sports, just have one of these, do these a little bit, and over time, it'll develop just a stronger neck. Now from there, we're gonna take the band, Okay, and what I like doing is just going side to side, just like so. Okay, so we're working some tension on some rotation of the neck, and we'll do these about 10 to 20 per side. Now, sometimes what I like to do is I actually will pull the band in the opposite direction. I'm looking for a little bit more band tension, so it kind of looks funky, but I'm going side to side, giving myself a little bit of extra neck tension from the band. So let's get over to the mean potatoes of neck training. Typically, I'm training neck specific work twice per week. Now, I would like to say that I have, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays as my neck training days. However, I typically just wait until my neck is pretty much recovered to hit that session again. So maybe it's two days, maybe it's three days, but I am absolutely hitting neck specific work twice per week. Now, when it comes to the exercise, I basically look at movement patterns. So the first movement pattern I always like to hit is gonna be some sort of neck flexion and extension, okay? So what you guys are seeing on the screen right now is examples of neck flexion and neck extension. Now, some people do this with towels, some people use a partner, some people wrap a plate in a towel like I do. Find what works best for you, uh, but basically we're looking for anywhere from two to three sets from that 10 to 20 rep range. And these, once again, you can progressively overload over time, but we wanna start off being cautious and gradually work up the weight and the volume as our neck begins to get stronger and bigger. The next set of movements I primarily focus on is gonna be some lateral rotation or flexion, okay? So moving that head side to side in some way or fashion, once again, figuring out whatever apparatus you wanna to use to do so, but I'm gonna hit that two to three sets, 10 to 20 reps. Lastly, I typically like to do some sort of isometric holds. So a very basic one for me is just putting my head against a rig upright or even a wall, and I will just hold that position by leaning my weight into it and supporting it with my neck. Over time, as my neck has gotten stronger, I've been able to actually rotate my neck with that increased tension from my body weight 
and I just feel like that's really made it strong and stable, especially if you're doing some sort of combat sport, you're used to being on your head in weird positions, and there is movement that comes with that sport. So you wanna be able to mimic something that's sport specific by doing these exercises with an isometric hold. Lastly, I like to do weird stuff. I think Tom Hovland has been a big inspiration for me lately, and I see him pulling sleds with his head outside, so I started doing that. Wouldn't recommend you start off by that as your first week or first exercise by any means, but as you are getting a stronger and bigger neck, something fun to throw in there, you know, makes the people turn their heads outside in your neighborhood or your commercial gym, and they're probably not gonna talk to you because they're afraid of you. Last thing I'll add is gonna be equipment to get neck training done. As you can see, I've used my body weight, I've used a band, right? I'll use a plate, a towel, all sorts of different things. And one of the other things I really love using is this spudding neck harness. Now, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies whatsoever, uh, but this would be a great investment, especially if you are in a garage gym or you wanna be able to throw this in your gym bag, get some neck training done in your commercial gym. And on top of that, there are neck specific machines at the gym, which probably not that many people are using. Uh, so if you do have access to them, I highly recommend giving them a use. There are probably some other neck apparatuses you can buy online and use for your neck training. I don't know all of them, but if it fits in your budget and you wanna get it and you're serious about neck training, by all means do so. So just gonna wrap this video up, guys. If you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. There's a ton of different ways to support the channel in the link tree description below. Whether you guys are looking for template programs, you're looking for custom programming, there's all different links to other things that I enjoy that can benefit supporting this channel, and it absolutely means the world to me. So if you guys found any of this stuff interesting, comment down below with your thoughts, or if you have a neck training routine that you enjoy, or if there's somebody who has really good videos out there Put them down, I don't care. I'm just out there trying to spread the message of things I'm passionate about. And lately it's been forearms, grip, and neck freaking python collar girth. So that's all I have guys. Stay a lean, mean strength health machine and I'll catch you next time. Peace.